today I'm going plant shopping at a really cute plant shop located near downtown Grand Rapids, Michigan. You guys know I've been tagging along with my husband for work and I'll be spending some time in Grand Rapids, Michigan, as well as Charlotte, North Carolina. So you guys get the best of both worlds and we kind of get to compare what's in the South in Charlotte, North Carolina, and then up here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I've been dying to visit this little plant shop. It looks so cute. If you're new, welcome. My name's Ashley and I always say I'm a crazy plant lady and proud. So if you like planty stuff, indoor plants, house plants, plant shopping, definitely subscribe so episodes will show up in your newsfeed. And we also have a great community on Instagram. All right, I'm so excited to pop into the little shop. I'm actually here right now. And then I will share my haul at the end of the video if I end up picking out a plant today. Let's go. This little shop is so adorable and they do have some plants outside and I wanted to take a quick look. The first one that caught my eye is this one. It looks like it's a Pariso Verde and it is $36. It's so beautiful and they have quite a few of them and I don't have one of these in my collection so this is a maybe um, in which I would either ship it back to myself in Charlotte or figure out a way to carry it on. And I thought that this little Tradescantia was so beautiful as well. It's $18 for this pink lady. Cute little philodendron Birkin, $18. Pilea peperomioides, $18. And if you hear cars, it's because this, I'm right by this street. This is a really cute area near downtown Grand Rapids. It has like great shops and little restaurants and stuff. Rattlesnake Calathea. This one is 18. So it looks like most of these are 18. Cute little succulent. Little snake plant, a raven ZZ. And looks like some string of pearls. 36 for the string of pearls. Uh, Burrow's tail, love it, 36. Down here, some nice cacti. Looks like they're 14 for the various cacti. So cute. They do have one of my all-time favorite cacti, which is the paper spine cactus. This one is 14. Absolutely love it. I think this is a, a copper, copper cactus or something like that. And they have what looks like a pharaoh cactus for 14, some apuntias. Um, oh, this shelf is 50% off. It looks like they have a beautiful Calathea, really healthy Calathea Beauty Star, 28. I always love the beautiful coloration of the Calathea leaves. The Adansonii is originally 36, so half off that. Really nice. Um, Hoya Exotica 36, a good size one. Looks like they have a Skindapsis back there, some Neon Pothos, and another Rattlesnake Calathea. They have a huge Sayuri snake plant up here, and it's 98. Looks like they have some other little stuff for sale. They have a moisture meter. They have what looks like plant food. I have not tried this brand before. Let me know if you guys have and what you think. And it looks like they have a variety of products. Like they have insecticide, um, protectant. Looking in the ingredients to see. Fungicide and then the plant food. 
Oh, these are cute. Heavy duty. And fungus knot sticky traps. They have a some more beautiful calatheas. Little peperomias hanging out there. Looks like a jade plant. Okay, 50% off here. They have a little rickrack. Curious how much this little rickrack would be. Okay, 18, so half off that. That's great for rickrack. They looks like they have um, fire sticks back there, ripsalis, an aloe. Look how cute these little pots are. I love them. Half off those, so, you know, really great deal. They have some neem down there, 50% off of that shelf as well. Some absolutely beautiful, healthy ZZ plants, and they have a large ficus audrey. Look how beautiful these ficus audrey are. Really beautiful bird of paradise. I've been tempted to add one of these to my collection. Look at this huge one. Wow. It would be so nice to have like a really large one in my house. Let's see what else, some more ZZs. They have some nice Dracaena, $6. Um, pink variegated, well I see that. They definitely have pink on the outside of the leaves, really lovely. They have some Schifflera, some more Dracaena. Oh, beautiful alocasia. I think this is a Lauderbachiana. Um, purple sword. That's easier to say than Lauderbachiana, right? $38. Really lovely. And they have some more Calatheas here. It's a Tenthi. Ooh, some really... Here's some Neon Pothos, $18. And then it looks... Oh, there is a Brazil in there as well. Down here, some Marble Queen Pothos, some more Neon Pothos. This looks like a Golden Pothos. I love the variegation on this Marble Queen. It's really pretty. I like Marble Queen because each Marble Queen looks so different from the next. And this almost looks like a Manjula, but I think it's still a Marble Queen, yeah. So if you can't find a Manjula, you can always just find a, a Marble Queen that looks very similar. Really beautifully pink Syngonium here, $38. Maybe a Neon Robusta. Look at this cactus. Ooh, that's a tall one. <laughs> I love it. I don't have a really big cactus in my collection. I think that would be nice to add at some point. They have a really nice sized pink princess philodendron. Look at this half moon leaf that it's putting out here. Let me see if I can see a price on this nice sized one. There's a Maranta that's putting out a really cute purple flower. Did you guys know that Marantas put out little blooms depending on the type you have? This one looks like it is a red Maranta, so good to know the red Marantas put out tiny little purple blooms. And this rattlesnake calathea is really lovely as well. I like plants that have red on the, on the back sides of the leaves or purpley colors on the back side of the leaves. Really massive aglionemas. Great, great plants. Another beautiful huge cactus and look I think it's about to put out a bloom. This is the cutest little burgundy rub rubber tree ever. I love the pot it's in. <laughs> it's so healthy. Some more aglionema and raven zizis. Oh no, sorry, regular zizis. Looks like some Hartley philodendrons. It's the nice green ones. And some more snake plants over here. And then some more aglionema varieties. They, these ones have like darker, darker leaves. And look, it's even putting out a little bloom. 
tiny little Monstera Deliciosas. And some more Aglionemas. I like this one over here. It has really thin, pretty leaves. I like their merchandise here. This one says plants for everyone. Adorable little tote bag. <laughs> of course I would go clothes shopping at a plant store. Plants for everyone plant shop. Oh cute. Plants for everyone. I like that one. It has a little monstera leaf on it. I'd like to update my merch and put together something cute. I'm trying to get some inspiration. Plants for everyone. Ooh, I like this sweater a lot. Some large size rickrack cactus. Look how packed full this cactus is. $62. And some aglionemas. Another nice size burgundy rubber tree. Look at this cute little succulent garden. I think it would be fun to do a video putting together a succulent garden. Oh. And you could even just put them together in one container and have them in individual pots. I like that idea. Looks like they've kept it in their nursery pots and in individual ones. Smart. A nice Apuntia. <laughs> and a Maranta. Another Apuntia. I wonder what kind of Apuntia this is. It's very thin. And I've seen them at big box shops with very small, small versions of these. But look how thin it is. You see it? And normally they're really thick. I like the way that looks, very, very different. Then another Marble Queen Pothos, Golden Pothos, Neon Pothos. And this one kind of looks like a Hawaiian Gold Pothos. Aglionema. So they have some string of turtles here. They are 32. Really nice. It looks like the trails have been wrapped up, so they must be pretty dangly. And then the same thing for string of hearts. This is actually an, a smart way to do it because then you can take it home um, and it's already wrapped up nicely. Really, really healthy, lovely plants. And some more Marantas. And then back here are some whale fin Sansevierias. It's my personal favorite type of a uh, snake plant. And they are $38 and some of them have multiple, multiple plants in them. This one has a cute little pup coming out. They have some nice Peperomia Hopes. These are some of my favorite Peperomias. First of all, they're so easy compared to other Peperomias that I've had in my collection before. And the leaves are so satisfying. They're just very, very succulenty. This one, I would just say like, let it dry out. And then when you're ready, give it a drink. Um, but they're just so, so easy. $18 for the Peperomia Hope. And they're also good growers. I just, I would have 10 of these if I didn't have so many plants already because this is definitely one of my favorite, favorite peperomias. Some really beautiful Monstera Deliciosas. They're, you know, kind of the perfect size where they're starting to become really nice and fenestrated. They look so healthy. Beautiful Raven's Easies. These are so dark. Really, really, really dark raven ZZs. And then moonshine snake plants, some more little ZZs. And then this one is a fernwood snake plant for, how much is it? Oh yeah, $26 That's how much the fernwood snake plants are. They have some huge Cebu blue trailing pothos. They're so lush and full. 
I'd say they're at least 10 inch pots. They're 60, or they're eight inch, excuse me. Um, and they're 68. Nice neon pothos. Some more moonshine. Oh, this one says moonstone 18. We have a ZZ. I love this one for some reason. Look at this aglaonema. Gosh, it's so beautiful. The yellow in the leaves. It looks like in person someone just took a yellow neon highlighter and just kind of went went to town artistically all over the leaves. It's so beautiful. Some more cute little Monstera Deliciosas. Red Maranta, some more ZZs. You can see the new growth coming out there. Some aloe and some more snake plants. Ooh, they have some Geogenanthus. Such a, such a cool plant. Beautiful Aglionema with those bright pink stems there. 36. Some more snake plants. Another really lush pink Syngonium. And Calathea. Pylea peperomioides. Ooh, I'm not sure what these are. Maybe a medium silver. They look like some sort of monstera. Maybe a philodendron. I'm not sure. Definitely let me know. I will definitely be back. This place is so cute. I'm obsessed and I did pick out a plant. I was completely torn between two different plants. I definitely thought the Pariso Verde was a great deal. It was $36. It's a nice cute sized one. Um, it had some nice variegation. The other plant I thought was a great deal is the one I picked up today. This is the plant that I picked up. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I believe it's an Amedrium Silver, but let me know if you think it is something else. If it is an Amedrium Silver, I'll put a picture of it here for everyone so you can kind of see what this plant grows into. I'm not sure if that's what it is though. Uh, it was $22 and it's beautiful. Like even if the leaves stay just like this, I think it's a stunner. It's so silvery, so blue. I told myself, okay, I gotta have that one to add to the collection. Look how beautiful it is. My first guess was a medium silver. So let me know in the comments. I'm kind of counting on you guys to help me figure out exactly what it is, but I don't ever see this one out and about, which made me think, okay, I gotta get that one and add it to the collection. It's, it's really beautiful. Um, and then based on another Amedrium that I have, it is pretty thirsty. The other Amedrium that I have, if that's what this is. So, you know, I'm not going to let it stay dried out for too long. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about it. I thought $22 was a fabulous deal. I definitely recommend checking out this cute little plant shop if you're ever in the Grand Rapids, Michigan area. Now, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see future episodes in your newsfeed. And again, we have a great community on Instagram. All right, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Thanks for tagging along with me while I was plant shopping. You'll definitely be seeing me soon.